this back. It's still well. It's comfortable, lightweight, holds things in tight. Things don't fall out. Move it around easy. And this will you can take a bit of you want. So, it's obviously my opinion, but I believe this is the best tool belt out there. I've uh, had a few in my time, so I'm just going to go through. It's the Makita Toolmate. Um, I found it on Trade Me, and I've never really seen them in stores or anything like that, so I've got no idea where they came from. It's probably an import, probably a knockoff brand, uh, knockoff bloody Makita one, but it's uh, it's done bloody good and it's not worn yet it's actually in good condition still considering I use it every day um, so obviously in the middle got my multi meter clamp meter take that wherever I go um, also believe this is the best meter on the market um, I did do a review on the last one I had which was a model down from this one and it was reading false voltages, it was shit, I would not recommend it but this one here it's still held up um, doing good and this one here is the specialist one not the hobbyist one um, so I've got sideys, pliers nice nipex or nipex or whatever you want to call them bloody good brand Easy to swivel around in one hand, um, and yeah, a comfortable length to work with. Not like your climb ones, which are actually another half inch longer than these. And some of them also got the wee crimper on here, which you don't bloody use. Always use crimpers for doing crimps. I don't know why the fuck you'd use pliers unless you're really in a hurry and just. Squeeze it with your sideies. Anyway, next thing on here is my square drive, number two. Always use that. What the hell's going on there? Uh, terminal driver, always use that. And so that stays in with the square drive and that holder. And then in here's my left handed Phillips. My uh, heavy duty flathead. That I use for absolutely everything. It's a 4mm uh, slot and I did file these down so I can fit them in square drive holes. I have snapped this before and I've had to reshape the end on it but um, these, uh, this one's this set here has lasted more than six years so they're going good um, and they're the Weeha brand um, and then obviously some long nose pliers always need those when you're working on switchboards um, the other thing I've got on here is a wee tape holder and this comes with the belt too um, so I always have one roll of tape on here a nice light colour so that I can write on it and label shit if I need to and then some thread tape um, I'm doing a wee bit of a wee bit of plumbing's involved with some of my work I do, so I have to use that. Changing elements, fixing uh, instant boiling units and things like that. And then I have thrown a magnet on here. This tape holder, or whatever the hell it's used for, is useless as hell. So what I did is get one of these out of a magnetron from a microwave and throw it on here. All your screws will stick to it. Don't use stainless, obviously they're not going to stick to it because they're not magnetic. But um, it's all types of steel and uh, um, steel screws will fit to it. So I usually have a whole lot of one, one inch bloody square drives on there but they all seem to fall off all the time so snag on clothes and whatnot. So yeah, it's a good idea though for a screw holder. That's my tool belt.